Hello everybody and welcome back on my channel. In today's video we are gonna talk about perfumes that are nominated for Oscar. Well, not for the real Oscar, for the Oscar of niche perfumes. And the stars of today's show are finalists of Art and Olfaction Award. If you're not familiar with Art and Olfaction Award, guys, no worries, I will read you about them really quickly so you can get an idea who they are. So, Art and Olfaction Award was designed to raise interest and awareness for independent perfumers, artisan perfumers, and experimental practitioners with scent on the international scale by shining a spotlight on the perfumery's most outstanding creators, they hope to generate support for independent practices in the perfumery as a whole. So now I hope you understand what the Foundation of Art and Olfaction Award is. And there are three different categories. So the first one is called artisan category. That means the owner of a perfume house need to be a perfumer as well and to create perfumes for this house. The second category is called independent category and that means you need to be a founder or a co-founder of a perfume brand and you need to work with other independent perfumers. And the third category is called Sadakichi Award and uh, it is uh, an award for the ex experimental work with scent. Now guys, this year's finalists are absolutely amazing and I'm very excited because a lot of them are my good friends and I'm very happy about that. And of course I don't have all the finalists because that would be too much, but I have a lot, so let's get started. I would like to begin with the artisan category and the first finalist of that category is this wonderful perfume that is called Impressions de Giverny and it is by the artisan perfume house from Australia called Fort and Manlet. The founder and the perfumer of this house is Rossi Fort, who is my good friend. And Impressions de Giverny is his newest creation. And I can totally see why it is a finalist, because this is one of the best floral scents that exist. And it is a very specific floral scent. It features a ton of different floral notes such as tuberose, wisteria, nice iris, but it is not powdery. It is very fresh and very harmonious floral blend. It was inspired by the famous painting by Claude Manlet, uh, La Jardine à Giverny or something like that. Please apologize my pronunciation. But this is a wonderful floral scent indeed. It is not only appropriate for women, but I can also see a man who is normally not into floral scents wearing it. It has a musky undertone and there is a fruity twist to it. And Rossi uses very specific and special ingredients. That's why all his fragrances have that Rossi touch, I call it like that. And very interesting fact is that Rossi was nominated last year in the artisan category with his other scent called Fatih Sultan Mehmed. This is my favorite from his line. Last year he didn't win, so I wish him good luck with Impressions de Giverny. And we are moving on to the next finalist. This fragrance is called Mora and it is by the artisan perfume house from Thailand called Prin Perfume. The perfumer and the founder is Prin Lamrose, who is my good friend, and I'm obsessed with his perfumes. Mora is a very special scent indeed. As I tried it for the first time, I was blown away. I tried it several times because it is very complex. You definitely need to take your time to understand it. It has three different layers. It opens with beautiful aldehydes, but it changes into a very smoky and dark, mysterious scent. It is a spiritual scent. There are a lot of precious ingredients such as coffee, absolute, cibet, Indian tuberose, opium, frangipani, oak moss, ash, cumin, sandalwood, teak, tobacco, gardenia, and much more. Prin uses very special ingredients and not only his perfumes are very special because they have that Asian vibe and that is already enough to stand out, but Prin uses very interesting ingredients and he loves to work with incense um, 
notes and with the very intense spices so this perfume is very complex and interesting and it definitely has that wow effect very very mystical dark scent and i can totally see why it is a finalist actually prin was nominated last year as well with my favorite scent from his collection called rosaria this is a fantastic rose with incense and spices so if you're looking for something like that you definitely need to check out rosaria but i find mora is even more interesting and prin just really wows you with each new release and I find him one of the most talented perfumers of our time. He creates very avant-garde, very original scents and I wish him good luck. But that is not all for Prin because he's also nominated with his other fragrance called Cigar Room. It is from his house Strangers and this is much easier than more. It is very easy to understand it is a sexy scent and imagine that you're smoking very expensive cigars and drinking heady rum of highest quality on the exotic island. This is how this perfume smells. It is warm, it is sexy and uh, it is very appealing. So I wish Prim good luck. He has really high chances to win. Moving on to the next finalist and that is this stunning fragrance that is called Wonderly. Guys, first of all, look at this bottle. Have you ever seen a packaging like this? It opens this way, so this is the cap and this perfume is called Wonderly, it is by the House of Wood and it smells wonderly indeed. To be honest with you, it is just right up my alley because it opens with mouth-watering scent of apricot skin. It has this fruity touch to it, it is delicious and it really melts into almond milk and in the dry on it is powdery and so smooth and you know that I'm obsessed with powdery scents. That's why I love it and I'm so glad it is a finalist and it is actually that scent that I'm wearing every day. Like guys, I'm wearing it every day. The only problem that I have with it, it is not very long lasting or maybe I personally don't smell it on myself and I heard that when you don't smell a fragrance on yourself then it is a perfect one for you. So this might be my perfect scent and I really really love it. So the next finalist is called Touchstone and it is by Aether Arts Perfume. The perfumer is Amber Jobin and she has already won Art Nail Faction Award in Artisan category with her other fragrance called John Froome and that is an awesome exotic tropical scent. I have a review on it so make sure to check it out. But guys, Touchstone is very different. It is inspired by the cell phone and cell phone is seen as a talisman of our modern life. And cell phones require minerals in their manufacture and they provide those um, signals that we cannot see. So this perfume is mineral with an earthy accord. And uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of earthy types of uh, scent but this is so beautiful. It is grounding, it is relaxing, it is very pleasant to wear and it performs amazingly when it is muddy and cloudy. So when the weather is kind of like rainy or something like that, wear touchstone and uh, you will be blown away. Amber uses a lot of natural ingredients but also synthetic so it is on the oily base. It does really perform well, it projects and it is unique in the scent, you know, in the way it smells, it's very original and I wish Amber good luck. All right, that's been said, that is all for the artisan category. Now let's move on to the independent category. The first fragrance from that category is called Pink Heart and it is by Map of Heart. Ta-da! This is how the bottle looks. I have a sample of it and I really wanted to smell this perfume, guys, because it should be a narcissist scent and I'm obsessed with that flower. I love how it smells and I was so not disappointed when I smelled it because guys, this smells even better than a real flower. It opens with ever so slightly green scent but already in the opening you get a hint of that narcissist and the longer it sits on your skin, the better narcissist comes 
through and it is just a real narcissist it is heady it is very egoistic it is beautiful floral but this fragrance really develops and changes and it gets sweeter it is sexy with animalic something to it and in the very dry down it is even powdery so i'm obsessed with this perfume i'm dying to get a bottle of it because the bottle looks stunning and i'm obsessed with this fragrance my sample is empty and i love this perfume i love it and guys it does perform really well it is very long lasting it lasts on the clothes for two days Moving on to the next finalist from the independent category, and that is Oseng by Mandy Torosa. This is not a full bottle, obviously, this is a travel spray. The bottle looks insane, and guys, first of all, I've told you that some of the finalists are my friends. That is the case with Oseng. Stefania is the owner and creative director of Mandy Torosa, and she is not only a very lovely Italian lady, she's so so passionate about her work. She puts a lot of effort into the design of the bottles, into the concept, into each scent and the story. And to be honest with you, there is no scent of her collection that I wouldn't love. I love them all. Osang blew me away the first time I smelled it. And guys, it is really the scent of miracle, miracle of love one of the best oriental scents out there. It has myrrh and incense for the spiritual effect, but there is also the note of heliotrope, which makes it powdery, very smooth and flawless. The note of honey for beautiful sweetness, some spices, a little bit of oud. It is very sensual, it is very beautiful, truly oriental. If you love oriental fragrances, you need to check this one out. And I wish Stefania so much luck because she really deserves it. Like, I am obsessed with her collection. And Oseng is one of my absolute favorites. All right, guys, next fragrance is Elephant and it is by Zoologist. Now, Zoologist is one of my most favorite brands out there. And Victor Wong, the founder and creative director, he has already won Art Nail Faction Award with his fragrance Bat. Bat is quite strange for me. I love his fragrances very much and I can pull them off, like all of them, but not bad. And Elephant, as I smelled Elephant, I fell in love with it. This is my favorite fragrance from Zoologist and it smells not only green, because obviously when you imagine Elephant, you imagine like a forest and leaves that he uh, is going like through, I don't know guys, like it is not only the green fragrance, but to me it is milky green fragrance, powdery scent of green tea. It is magical. There is the note of magnolia, there is coconut, there is incense, there is a beautiful jasmine, woodsy notes, and it smells like the best green scent that you can imagine. It is perfect for summer, it is very long-lasting, and I love how it melts into the scent of your skin. This perfume is really charming, truly unisex, very, very pleasant, and it is kind of the fragrance that you don't want to stop smelling. So I wish Victor good luck and this perfume is just stunning, guys. If you haven't tried it out yet, oh gosh, do it! All right, next and actually last uh, finalist is called Eau de Virgin or something like that. This is how it looks. I have a sample of it and guys, I need to be honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of it because this is a truly tuberose scent. I'm not a fan of tuberose as a note and um, this perfume is kind of different tuberose but not in a very pleasant way at least to me. It opens with quite harsh medical scent. I don't really understand what that is. It is unusual but quite strange and only in the very very dry down it gets pleasant, at least to me. It is for the fans of tuberose for sure. It is a heady, very intense floral scent with sweetish, exotic something to it. So I can see why it is a finalist because it is so unusual, but it is not like my absolute favorite. And that completes this video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed watching it and I'm personally really excited for the winners because I couldn't pick just two winners. I believe there are two in each category 
and you know the judges they are professionals there is not uh, one person who decides which friends is gonna win um, those people they know what to do but um, I'm not jealous I'm not jealous of them of their work because it is quite tough with uh, such great preferences I'm not sure if I'm gonna be in London the ceremony is in London and I'm still waiting for my visa so by the time you're seeing it maybe I'm in London maybe I'm not I don't know but if I'm going I'll surely film the ceremony and I'll try to film interviews with the finalists and winners but I don't know if that is gonna happen and please let me know guys how you like this video I know it is kind of different it is chatty but it is very interesting this is the video about uh, the best niche fragrances from 2017 because all of them were released in 2017 last year and uh, you know what it is different but I try to give you the best olfactive description of each scent and let me know which ones you have already tried and which ones you want to try after watching this video and that was all I hope that you enjoyed if you did then please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because that helps me out a lot share this video with your friends and stay tuned we'll see each other in the next one really soon